Hey guys, Tangle at the Tattoo Rifle Club. Um, I'm on 100 yard range and what I'm here to do today is see what kind of effect installing and uninstalling the suppressor has on the point of impact. So I just finished sighting in my rifle and I'll show you a um, kind of a baseline and you're going to see I'm roughly about two inches high. The reason I'm doing that is because I've got a nice red dot to aim at. If I start putting bullets in that red dot it changes my sight picture and it's going to affect how well I can place bullets because I don't have the same sight picture. So by shooting above where I'm aiming it keeps me uh, right on the very same sight picture every shot and you'll still get the same group. So I got about a, um, well it's probably a sub MOA group which I'm very pleased with so what I'm going to do is let you watch the target out of this camera and you watch me shoot out of this one. Uh, I'm going to shoot one shot with a suppressor, take the suppressor off, shoot a shot, put the suppressor on, shoot a shot and so on until I've shot 10 shots. Okay guys, I've counted out 10 shots and I've got my gun sighted in two inches high as I mentioned and I'm having to uh, raise the stock a little bit to get to the lower targets. Uh, I'm only going to load one round in the magazine at a time because I have to get out in front of the muzzle and install and uninstall the uh, suppressor. I don't want to do that even on a safe gun so I'll let it lock open and go from there. So let's take a look at this. All right, I'm going to do the bottom lift. All right. We bit warm. some of this overhead out when I uh, edit it but oh man I gotta have that rag to elevate the gun gonna be loud I think that's right beside it. I've got to look. No, that hit the bottom edge of the upper target. Second one with a suppressor. Didn't lock back because uh, I lost my back pressure on the suppressor. Here we go. Pretty close. when it adds nothing to it. So we'll see how this one goes. I got two hits. Well, you can probably see it. You have to look at the upper left bullseye right down at six o'clock. That's where that one hit. See if this is cooled enough to handle. Yep. Uh, the suppressor, when it's in place, is very accurate. I shot a 
half him away group not uh, oh an hour ago on the 200 yard range with this very setup all right let's do it again Let me confirm that. Yeah, we got a sub MOA group going with the suppressor. All right, take it off. I have three shots touching and one just right above the group. So what I've seen out of four shots with the suppressor is it changes the elevation significantly, but when you put the suppressor back on, it's coming right back into true. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm pleased with that. I'm delighted with that. All right. <clears throat> Remember this time it's not going to lock back because I've lost my suppressor back pressure. Not doing so good like that. I don't know if I'm anticipating a shot or what, but not as good. All right, this will be the last shot with the suppressor. Sure is looking stormy. All right. That's a group to be proud of. This will be the last shot without the suppressor. Lock back. Oh, it shot it with the suppressor though. But look at the difference with a suppressor and without it. We got well under a sub MOA. Um, well under.